using the fill dialog box basically provides us some other extra benefits now looking at this um budget data i have um, actual values for 2020 for example and let's assume that I want to create a budget based on some logic for uh, 2021 all the way to 2025. So these are my actual values for 2020. And maybe I want to increase these values by a fixed amount or maybe I want to increase it by some percentages. It depends on what I want to do. The fill option can, I mean, the fill uh, series can allow us to do some interesting things here. So let's take a look at how this works. So if I highlight from the 2020 values all the way to the right hand side like this all the way to 2025. Now when I go to my fill and I select series. If I uh, click OK right now, currently I have uh, the type of fill I want to do currently being linear and I have the step value as one. So when I click OK, you will see that it basically just continues to increase each one of them by one. I'm going to click Ctrl Z to undo this. So if I go back here and I go to series and I put the step value to five, when I click OK, you will see it basically increases it by five. So if my idea for budgeting is to increase the amount year on year by a fixed amount, then I could use this method now another way you can also think about this is if i go back to click on series here now instead of using linear i can use growth and i'm going to leave the step value as one so when i click ok you see that the values basically remain the same thing isn't it which simply means that when you use the growth option it is going to multiply your um preceding values by what you have in the step value right so if i go back to fill now and i click on series now i want it to be based on a growth if i change my step value to two then you will see that it basically will multiply them by two right so if i wanted to increase it by a percentage for example what i would do is go to my fill select my series I will select growth now instead of one i'm going to make this 1.1 remember that when i make it one it's just going to multiply everything by one but because i want to it to grow by 10 percent i'm going to use 1.1 so when i click ok then it's going to continue to grow 10 percent year on year